What's up guys? <laughs> Welcome back. Okay. This is my brother Alec. He will be helping me out. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I know that you guys wanted to also see this and how I'm going to do it. I am installing rear door speakers, but I'm utilizing the speaker wires from the top hat here. So those are going to go into the door panels there and there that I have installed previously. Uh, and today we're going to do the wiring and who else better to do audio and wiring than an audio engineer. This is Alec, this is my brother. Uh, I'll put a little Instagram down there for you and uh, give him a follow. And if you need any music and stuff, hit me up. He does that. <laughs> so, all right, let's do this. So the first order of business is to rip apart the interior so we can access all of the wires that we will be working with. All right, so we took off a couple more components than we needed to, but this is gonna be okay because it actually looks like the wires route up and over down here and through. I actually thought it went through the body cavity, but they're on the outside, which is nice. Um, and it runs down the passenger side down here and under the carpet here. So for we're gonna find the, um, the right channel and left channel and send the uh, right channel up through the B pillar here, through the corrugated line here and into the speakers. And then we're gonna send the left channel off under the carpet this way. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna put it under under the seat. I don't think that's gonna be the best way to go. We'll find a, a nice safe way to put it so it doesn't get pinched or beat up over time. That way it's kind of out of the way and safe. Um, but actually this is gonna work out really easy. Pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, perfectly framed there, I like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually gonna work out a lot better than we anticipated, uh, especially for, uh, you know, a 99 where this wasn't originally designed for. So uh, the crappy part is we gotta go all along here and cut open all the, tape. All the that's, electrical that's the tape. annoying part. Yeah, that's gonna be the most annoying part. So with the carpet up now, we're trying to find the best route to uh, line that wire so it is out of the way so it doesn't get pinched or stepped on and I think what looks like right now is just coming across there and hugging the inside of this hump and down here as well I have tape that I'm gonna have it taped down I'm also gonna clean this so the tape will adhere because it's you know as you can see gross it's got 220,000 miles and 20 years on it so in doing so I had figured that the hinges might be in the way but with the seat double checking it is completely clear because the seat would bolt in here and fold forward so it's that wire is going to be way out of the way anyways i didn't want to put this in the pinch zone i guess you would call it so that way it's nice and happy the hardest part is going to be opening up that harness the hardest part is going to be undoing all the tape yeah trust me this is this is what i do no no i know <laughs> the worst i understand the, tape. That. the worst part's the tape and i understand that and then retaping it because you don't want those exactly yeah. those wires all flopping it's around. all the tedious so. stuff all right and let's get cleaning Doing that because it's like when you say stuff like that was so easy it makes you realize the hard things you've accomplished <laughs> you know the vinyl tape came off uh, quite nicely uh, overall it just unraveled it didn't get normally it gets like melted and sticky and gross and annoying but this one came off nicely it just unwrapped um, but now we have fully isolated um, the wires that we will be uh, dealing with which are these two uh, two sets of twisted wires, which are in the speakers for the left and the right, and then route them down and out the way we need. And then with the other wires that we had opened up, we will be wrapping that back up together. Um, and that way I can mount these back on to their respective locations and play some music through some door speakers. <laughs> uh, I'm just stoked because we're coming from 
the, like little three inch little speakers to these nice sixes and uh what people don't realize is like that alone is going to be the biggest thing in quality is you're coming from a small speaker to a big speaker typically the bigger the speaker right the better the quality no matter yeah. what the brand because you were saying like oh the brand is like a, a whatever brand it's yeah like, it's a cheapy brand speaker it, that's it, it might be a cheapy brand speaker but the fact yeah. that it's like three sizes bigger like three inches bigger uh -huh. that's that's how you can really just get a like intuitively just think of like it can handle more frequencies so size does matter <laughs> yeah size does matter <laughs> okay so inside these speakers too is uh, a five inch uh cone and then you got a little tweeter speaker one inch tweeter speaker in the center of that so and that's also good too because the sub the big part's going to handle all the lows the tweeter's going to handle all the highs and that gives you a, a nice sound separation that's what i'm saying the bigger the the bigger the size mm -hmm. the better the low end the bigger the range got it and then if you have the tweeter it's going to just be a cleaner signal from the uh, upper half mm. which gives you the clarity so you just pretty much have a tweeter and then a larger tweeter <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's exactly that's what i'm saying is like, what that is this is, I, I would i wouldn't even call these subs this is a tweeter this is like a mid a mid so this yeah. is this actually might even be playing things that are higher than you know 1k up and then this is probably not even hitting the low and i don't know the the, the frequencies but these okay. probably can't handle you probably can't hear anything below 100 hertz on these anyway right with, I mean, if you do, it's just really the distortion of right. the of the thing, which is kind of designed into it, but yep. it's not built for it. A six inch speaker, you're gonna hear, you can hear 20 Hertz on there. Yeah, you sure. can hear it. So that's, yeah. that's where the size comes in. That's why it's so important. Because you're moving the rear speakers more forward into the rear doors, you'll have an excess of wires. All you have to do is cut them to length and add new connectors. Okay, so to determine the uh, left and right, we're gonna plug it into one side, and Alec is going to balance it to the left or the right, and we're gonna see uh, which speaker plays. That way we can associate the colors because these colors are different. This is white and orange, and this is orange with a white tracer and orange with a blue tracer. So we can actually determine the left and the right. They are color-coded for that reason. Well, that's the right, all right channel. That's the right channel? Yeah, so leave it plugged in, leave it plugged in. Okay, so yeah, I have them both plugged in right now. This is... It's off. This is playing. Yeah. And so this so is which channel? Left. Okay, so the left so channel... Okay, so the left channel... So the right channel is already taped, so we'll know that. So yeah, so this is for that door, this is for this door. Perfect. So there's two. That was easy to determine. I told you. <laughs> I told you, bro. It's like it's not hard when you know what you're doing. Door panels are off both sides, um, and I pulled these brackets. The whole bracket here was not originally here on a 99. I think they started doing the speakers in 2001, 2000, maybe. I pulled these out of a 2002. So anything from there up has rear door speakers. Um, so I pulled the bracket off and it fits perfectly in there. I put screws in and I aligned it to the door panel. I had these speakers laying around and I popped those in as well. The door carts actually had a light on them originally. That's what's holding this and this is just the connector for the light. The new ones don't have a door light. I'll pull these speakers off and uh, we will route the wire up and through and then connect it to the back of the speaker. So to get to the door accordion here, there you have to roll up the window glass um, to get to the inside right about there for that power. And then for in here, you're going to have to route it up this way. But uh, we got lucky and I ended up looking behind the belt. And there's actually access for it covered by this tape here, which goes straight to there. So it's got a nice straight shot. So less fishing less work. So we actually had thought that taking off all the vinyl tape from the harness would be the most difficult part. It wasn't. It was in fact fishing through the wires, through the accordion on both sides of the doors. That was the most painstaking part, especially because we didn't have the proper tools to do so. But we did. It ended up taking a few minutes, but we got wires through both of the doors. All right, that's it. Wires up. Um, speakers are in on both sides. Got my audio engineer on hand 
And uh, well, here we go. We just got it all phased, and here's the first test. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, dude. Dude, that sounds so much better. You can hear the bass now. <laughs> Alright, go higher. I'm gonna... Yeah. Holy crap. That was dope. Dude, that <laughs> sounds <laughs> wicked. Doesn't it sound so much better? I am so impressed. And like I said, that was without the boost or anything. Yeah, yeah, you were saying you still have to do that. You got some tuning and like yeah, adjustments. You could tune in a little bit to, to get the, you know, the low end a little oh, more boy, dude. present and the, and the high end <laughs> a little more clear. And then you could crank it and it'll be just a nice full sound. Heck yeah, dude. That's awesome. Okay, I guess the next step is just button it up and uh, Zip it and send it. Yeah, finish up all the wiring. I got a bunch of wires. Hanging yeah, you got to still. Let tape all that. I got right. tape there. Uh, we're all taped up down here. Um, oh my god, it's badass. That's wicked. All right, let's finish this up and then we'll play some more music. <laughs> okay. all right. So now that we know that everything works great, the next order of business is just to wrap it all up, snug it all down and then put the carpet and the seats back in and then we can get back to bumping the music. So that's it with this project. If you guys liked this project, hit that thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, leave the comments below and I will get back to you and answer any questions that you guys have. So that's it for this one. I will see you guys on the trail. And might I just say, dang, look at that sunset. Hell yeah.